Hi there, it's Lua again, AK Judge and I. For today's video, I'm so, so happy because I finally got my package. And today, I'm going to do a first impressions and lip swatches of the Sephora Give Me More Lip. This is 15 kinds of lipsticks on different finishes, different colors. So if you're interested on how does it looks like on my morena skin then keep on watching okay so today i'm doing the lip swatches for this sephora give me more lip uh just a side cuento or side story last year i bought this as well i bought five of it it says there it's the give me nude it's kind of a, a lip a lip shape it's color pink if i have that picture i'm going to link it uh here then it's all the best sellers of five kind of nudes we don't have it in sephora singapore that's why i bought it from a seller from carousel but okay but unfortunately i wasn't able to film it because it's all nude so almost all are the same so i was a bit disappointed because they're all muted nude Although, of course, it's my fault because I got the nude um, nude package. But yes, I, I told to myself that this year I'm going to be uh, to explore more lipsticks. And finally, I'm not so sure if it's the first time of Sephora to have different kinds of finishes, different kind of colors. And this is 15 pieces. Of, they have a deluxe, deluxe meaning uh, mini samples and a full size for this. This one, it's cool one two three four five it's cool because it's 15 lipsticks right and five out of the 15 lipsticks it's a uh, full size so i believe that this really really worth the money that's why i really like holiday sets because it will give you more bang in your in your in your money this one in what i call this in us it's selling if it's $68 and it says here and $82 Canadian but the value for this one is 200 for 254 I'm not so sure if if it's real but well if you research it probably it's real right so but here in Singapore we have really a Sephora but they don't uh, have this Sephora favorites any Sephora favorites re they really don't have even the past so I always buy it from sellers in carousel so this one um, I bought it for hundred and twenty five dollars so I put first a deposit of twenty five dollars uh, internet uh, banking then when I meet up uh, the lady a while ago it's uh, I bought uh, I gave her one hundred dollars so it's very very it's very funny because there there are a lot of girls there they're at boogies and uh they have a like um like a group collection so they have a lot of stuff why because there's a singaporean girl the seller is a singaporean and she's um staying in the u.s so she bought this personally really and i even got uh several uh what they call this um like a samples like freebies so very very thankful uh, very very thankful for this uh, seller and I'm thinking if you if I have other stuff that is not uh, available here in Singapore Singapore I'll just uh, PM here and just to let you know carousel is a really really good application and a lot of legit buy and sell uh, sellers are there because you can put the feedback and you can block them actually for me I blocked somebody who like who like stalked me, gave me a lot of negative, uh, like, like bad words on on a product. So I just reported it, and they they block it. It's just like he's really a negatron, you know, Megatron, right? From Transformers, that person is really negatron. It's all throwing a lot of negativity. So I don't like that. I despise that. If you see my Carousel account, I have a one hundred percent positive feedback. I don't have any negative nor neutral feedback, all positive. So I'm a buyer and a seller there as well. So when I saw the, the, the seller there, they're at the gelato shop, they're like a lot of girls. Then I texted her, oh, uh, I'm already here at Boogie, so how would I know if, you know, if you're that one? Then she said, oh, I'm at the gelato shop. If you can see like several girls with a lot of Sephora black and white bags and that's us. So I went there. And true enough, because it's a group collection, there's so they have uh, like a one-hour meetup, like 3 to 4 p.m. So we just meet her up. 
then she really got the computer because she has a lot of transactions there so she will tell she will ask me oh what's your username then she will just one by one take it out then she have some friends who will assist her then gave the package to me so I'm so happy for it and actually I really uh, would like to uh, check it out but the thing is it's sealed it got the uh, uh scotch tape here that is very very sealed so I'm like thinking okay I don't want to check it out because such a hassle and I'm pretty sure it's very very compact so let's review this so that's my side cuento so that is my side uh, story so this one if you can see I like it so much because it's like a blue teal packaging and I'm like thinking then, then she told me as well it's all sold out so I'm thinking as well wow if I really saw it on my local Sephora shop I would really really want to buy it it's, it's just so pretty very big it's like one foot long or more than one foot long so what else it says here it says here lip wardrobe net contents of kit it's 14.90 ml and it says here representative product photos may not be to scale so of course this is just like their marketing strategy so i'll just let you see first the focus so it's good I'm doing it in the afternoon I'm in front of my afternoon uh, window my light and what else and this side it says here Sephora favorites and this one as well at the back it says here give me more lip lip sampler find your perfect lip with this mega lip wardrobe featuring a collection of five Full size and 10 deluxe lipsticks in multiple formulas, finishes, and shades. So it says, states here all the 15 uh, lipsticks and how many grams and the ingredients on it. So everything is here. So let's open this up. Okay, so let's open this up. So it just looks like this to open. And I like the packaging so much, no? The, the, the way they present it, it's like this uh, open thing. So if you are done with your lipsticks, you can just take it out and use this nice steel box. Because last year, it's like just kind of a lip, uh, lip shape that you can just take it out. So it's like two separate boxes. I do believe this year they have a Give Me Nude as well. But I'm not going to buy that. They have this one. So yes, this is how it looks like. So lovely. Actually, I'm thinking like... Have I ever bought any of these products? Well, we'll check it out one by one. So it looks like this in close up. They put it nicely because they have even this case. Then it's already fitted. Let's let's let me open it up, okay? So if I take it out, it looks like uh, it looks like this, and at the back is just your transparent one and. Here is just your usual silica gel. So yes, let me probably will do probably let's do a chronological order from left to right. So we'll take this one, this uh, Sephora picture. Okay, so I already moisturized my lips. Good luck to me. It's my first time to to swatch like 15 types of lipstick. So we'll try to do this, the Sephora first. It says here, this is the Sephora collection. This is the cream lip stain in number one, always red. It's 1.3 ml or 0.04 fluid ounces. So it looks like this. It's very tiny. It's very mini. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to finish it. But this one is very, very nice. If you're going to travel or you have a party, then you have those small clutches. You can just, you know, put this because it's just so tiny. It's just, it's super, super tiny. Okay, for me, I've already tried some of the cream lip stain from Sephora. And I oh, like this is how it looks like on the Always Red Sephora. So this is how it looks like on the packaging. And this is how it looks like on my lips. Actually, I like it. I seldom wear red. And I think it it complements my coach bag. So nice. And it's really good for this color black shirt that I got. 
actually I it's not that uh, super super pigmented that it's like one swipe only I need to to put it on like uh, two to three times but I think I got the color and it's really uh, like a classic red I like it actually it's good also for office use or day-to-day -day use as long as you can rock a good red lip so I got only a neutral eye and this shirt so yes this is the Sephora lip stain in always red okay the next color next lipstick is from YSL so this is the packaging it says here at the back this is uh, Rouge Percouture in N01 Le Rouge color and it's 1.2 grams or 0 0.03 ounces so it looks like this it's a gold packaging it says there uh, YSL and it's very very lightweight it's very tiny it's very mini and it's another red lipstick so it looks like this in full in full when I open it so I already applied it and it's almost a bit of the same color on the Sephora the first Sephora lip stain is a classic red that's where it's very very uh what do you call this creamy because it's a lipstick form so this one is really so creamy but I can feel that this one will transfer for sure and I'm going to eat or drink water and it's not a uh, matte it's not that long staying so probably I'm going to put a mattifier prob I'll uh, just to share with you I'm using the Catrice instant lipstick mattifier so for those of you who would love to mattify your lips actually they said you can put like a baby powder but it's not effective to me like there's a tissue like uh, like one layer of tissue then you put baby powder it's not that um, it's not that mattifying for me that's why I use that Catrice so yes this is from the from the YSL so this is how it looks like does it make my teeth uh, white or what For the third color, we're going to get this from Marc Jacobs. It says here, this is from the Marc Jacobs Beauty Le Marc Lip Cream in Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Uh, it's one gram or 0 0.03 ounces. I have never, I don't have, uh, I don't have any Marc Jacobs product, so it looks like this. It's very, very tiny as well, but the packaging is so cute, so nice. And this is how it looks like. So this one is just your you know it's it's just embossed but this is what the lipstick looks like it's it's super tiny I'm pretty sure I can finish it but I like the color because it's nude so it looks like this it's very creamy as well and uh, wearable but it's not that super super creamy just like the YSL before this one uh, I I'm, I'm not uh, I don't feel like it will transfer but just for sure I'm going to put uh, the Catrice mattifier but this is how it looks like it's for everyday color I like it so much this is the kiss kiss bang bang from Marc Jacobs Beauty That we're going to try is this Bobbi Brown lipstick. This is in full size, and it says here this is a Lux lip color in brocade or brocade. It has 3.8 grams or 0.13 ounces. So this is my first full size. So this is what the packaging looks like. I don't have any Bobbi Brown, so yes, this is it. Then it got uh, embossed there on top, and this is a uh, number 15, and I like it. It's already I'm already wearing on my lips in the color okay we're going to open it on the stick it's uh, the stick itself it looks like like a red violet but when you put it on the lips it's kind of a, yes yeah, kind of a red violet thing but it's a lovely it's a very very lovely color it's creamy as well and this one is sure it's sure not matte i'm not so sure if if it's going to transfer but it complements my my uh, makeup and my clothes and it's nice it's very comfortable and this is my fourth one it's not yet drying as well but yes this is from bobby brown in brocad
fifth one that I'm going to try is this one. This is the Too Faced Melted Latex Liquefied High Shine Lipstick in shade Hot Mess. Wow, nice, nice name. It says here it's 3 ml or 0.1 fluid ounces. So this is what the packaging looks like. I already got a Too Faced Melted, but the original one, I believe I got it in, in Chihuahua or another color, but it's a nude one. But this one is their uh, newest one from uh, Too Faced. It's a Too Faced Latex High Shine. Wow. I already placed it on my lips and it's really high shine. And you know the latex materi material, right? When I place it on my lips, it really feel, feels like latex because it's like very high shine. I can feel the stickiness, but the stickiness is a comfortable stickiness and I love the color. It's like, okay, I'm a matte, uh, matte uh, lip person because I already got oily skin, but this one is really, really good and it's really comfortable. I'll show you the the foot applicator on it so this is how it looks like so it's easy to place on the lips but I can feel there's a lot of air because a while ago I'm having a hard time you see uh, closing it screwing it up because probably it got air bubbles so yes I like it and so this is the melted latex from Too Faced We'll try the Urban Decay. It says here, this is the Vice Lipstick in Big Bang. It's 1 gram or 0 0.03 ounces. So it looks like this. I already got a uh, Urban Decay uh, lipstick. This is so tiny, you see. I already got the Urban Decay lipstick because there was a free lipstick and an eyeliner when I bought the... You remember that Naked Heat palette? I got that as well. If you haven't seen my uh, swatches, I'm going to link it down below. I like it. They have a free uh, Vice lipstick and it's even a full size so it's already now on my lips it's it's glitter it's glitter pink i'll show you the what's inside so it's very cute it got the um, the ud there for urban, urban decay and it looks like this very tiny very deluxe size but it's full on glitter it's full on high shine and it looks like this actually this one can be as well uh, I, I, I thought it's a li uh, it's a lip top coat but no you can I, I build it up like four to five times and yes it is a doable uh, doable it is a wearable pink with glitter lipstick I like it so this is from Urban Decay in Big Bang Okay, the next lipstick that I'm going to try is the second full size. It's called Wonder. The, the product name is Wonder. It says here from Wonder Beauty, this is the Wonder Out Dual Lipstick in the shade Nikki Beach. It's 4.08 grams or 0.14 ounces. So I'll show you how it looks like. So this is Wonder. Actually, this is uh, like what it says. It's a dual lipstick. So I'm trying this one end first so this is how it looks like the color and it's already on my lips the top portion of the wonder so it's a pinky red color i like it it's comfortable it's my first time to hear such a such a what do you call this a brand name but i like it as well and it's very 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 comfortable and i think it's a good value for money because it's dual so this is how it looks like in Nikki Beach so let's try the same wonder lipstick but the below part because it's dual so it looks like this it's a nude pink actually I'm thinking if this is 
if this is the color Nikki Beach, it should have two names, right? But I don't see the name for this one or probably I can't see it because it's very, very tiny. But it's very, it's very, uh, what do you call this? It's a very good value for money because this Wonder Lipstick got two colors. So I'll show you the comparison. So this is the first one that I had, right? It's like the uh, like a pinkish uh, pinkish uh, lipstick and this is the the second one which is now on my lips this nude this nude one so this is it from wonder this is the second one this color that we're going to try is this color this brand What's the name? The name is Touch and Soul. It's a metalless liquid foil lipstick duo in number five. The color is Jasmine Brownie, so it looks like this. So it's a metallic uh, liquid lipstick, and the one that I tried is at this end, this doe foot applicator. And it's already showing on my lips. I like it. It's brown. It's kind of a brown bronze and it's um it's like a wet feeling i like it so much as you can see then the other side i haven't tried it but i believe this is like a, a topper or something it's like a brownish color as well so i have uh i've tried also one metallic lipstick it's from a uh, color pop i like it so much but it's kind of drying this one, of course, I'm doing lip swatches. I'm not so sure. Uh, I will not let it uh, dry for quite so long so that we're going to finish all these 15 lipsticks. But I like I like the color as well, even though I'm morena and sometimes uh, this kind of lipsticks will wash me out. But no, this is not. You know why? Because it has this... Um, it, it has this wet feeling. It, it has this uh, wet look. So it's just really, really nice. So this is from Touch and Soul. Product. Let's try this one. It's from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is my third full-size lipstick. It says here this is a lip gloss in vintage. It's a 4.5 grams or 0.16 ounces. So it looks like this. I don't have any Anastasia Beverly Hills anything product even though I've been contemplating to get the, the very famous modern renaissance palette. I haven't, well I'm not so inclined yet to buy that but I'm so happy that they include this. Although I'll be more happier Oh, sorry although I'll be uh, happier if this is a liquid lipstick but then again it is a lip gloss I like it in vintage and I like it that they have uh, it in nude and it's even a full size although I'm not a lip gloss kind of person but I like it this one it, it can be a topper and it looks like this I don't know if the, if it's defining all my lines already on the lips but it's so comfortable it's not sticky yes Yes, that's why. Okay, for lip glosses, that's why I don't like lip glosses because I find them sticky. But this one, it's not. It felt, it feels like it's just your normal uh, lipstick. So yes, this is it. So this is how the vintage looks like. Next lipstick that we're going to try is this one. It's the brand is from Smashbox. This is their always on liquid lipstick in the shade Driver's Seat. It says here it's 0.9 ml or 0.03 fluid ounces. So this is how it looks like. Actually, the last year's uh, Give Me Nude, the Sephora favorites, I have a Smash, uh, I have a Smashbox as well, and I like it so much. And I'm so happy that they have this as well in this box and you know what okay so this is the color right it's a nude kind of orangey orangey lipstick i like it but you know what this is one of the best liquid lipsticks that i have tried and the doe foot applicator is so so amazing that you don't need to be super precise because it will help you out i'll show you what i'm talking about because you see, it's a very big uh, doe foot applicator. It's kind of a tear drop, and it even got a hole in the middle, but it's so pointed. So it's really, really nice to line your side of the lips. And this uh, Cupid bow, 
I really really like it. I'm like thinking why would like I'm like thinking good thing Smashbox thought about it and I hope the other lipstick uh, liquid lipstick company would thought about it but yes this is from Smashbox always on liquid lipstick in driver's seat so this is how it looks like on me one that I'm going to try is this start this is my fourth full size so this is uh, what it looks like on the packaging and it says here this is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. This is their Quench Lip Lip Rescue in Nude. It is 2.8 grams or 0.1 ounces. So this is how it looks like. Very cute pink packaging with the, that small Tarte lettering. And when you open it, it looks like this. I'm like thinking, wow, it's so hard to be to be a to be a lipstick, right? Because it's so it's so fat. I'm like thinking, how can I put it on? Then when I read the description here, no, because this is like a quench lip rescue. It means it's kind of a lip balm that will moisturize the lips. That's why I can smell like there's a a, a small scent of mint feeling and i like it so much so this is the type of lipstick or not lipstick it's a lip balm so that when your lips are dry you can just put it like this so it's really nude it's kind of like colorless so whatever you see in my lips this is all the probably the um, the remnants or the residue of the previous lips but yes this is how it looks like Actually, I like it and I can feel this a, a bit of tingling sensation and it's really really good because I already tried several of the lipsticks, right? So it, this one is a good rescue for me. So this is from Tarte. Hmm. Very very moisturizing. Next lipstick that I'm going to try is this. It's from Hourglass. It says here this is the Hourglass Girl Lip Stylo in Influencer. It has 1.5 grams or 0.05 ounces. I don't have any lipstick from Hourglass because I believe they're not that famous on lipstick. But I have that Vanishing Foundation uh, foundation Stick. I like it as well but it's kind of drying. It goes to my patches. That's why I need to really moisturize, but it's very long lasting. I haven't done a review yet, but yes, other than that, this is it. But I got surprised. It's kind of a, this is how it looks like. It's a lip crayon, so it's kind of a nude color. I've already placed it on my lips a couple of times and it just, it just won't show probably because of my lip balm. So I'll just swatch it over here. So it looks like this. So it's just your everyday nude dish brown, but well, it doesn't work on my lips right now. Probably my lips is so hydrated in a way, and it's so slippery that this color doesn't even show. So it's very, very light, not that pigmented, but I like it because it's uh, it's okay for me to try. That's why we have this Sephora favorite. So this is what it looks like the hourglass in stylo so this is it let's do the next one this is the laura mercier mercier or mercier uh lipstick okay let's read this is from the laura mercier cosmetics this is the velour lovers lip color scent a uh, lot Sorry, sorry. This is the Velour Lovers Lip Color Sensual in Muted Pink. This got 2.75 grams or 0.09 ounces. Actually, I'm wearing it right now and it just won't show probably because my lips is very full of uh, lip balm. It just keeps on sliding but the packaging looks like this. It's just your very cute deluxe packaging like a squarish black. Yeah, it says there Laura Mercier very light and it looks like this in full size so as you can see there's nothing on my lips so i'll just swatch it here so this is the previous one right so let's just put here at the side actually i can feel it now it's very moisturizing it's very slippery as well 
So, this is from the Laura Mercier. This color pinkish. So, nothing on my lips. So, yes, we'll just do that. Okay, next one to swatch is my last or the fifth full size. Is from Huda Beauty. This one is okay. Huda Beauty is a very popular for her eyelashes, where the eyes on the packaging and those are very expensive eyeshadow palettes. I don't have those. This will be my first uh, Huda Beauty uh, product. It says here this is the liquid matte in bombshell. It contains 5 ml or 0.17 fluid ounces. So I'm wearing it right now. It's your usual. Nude pink. I just placed it like, like a couple of seconds ago, and it's so nice. It turned matte instantly, and it's just so, um, it's just so comfortable on the lips. Even though I already swatch a lot of it, and it's easy as well. So this is how it looks like. It's in a very long tube. See, I'm stretching my hand on it. Then I'll show you the doe foot applicator. The doe foot applicator is your usual usual wand so in hood in here in singapore in sephora we don't have any who the beauty probably I, I don't think so they have in sephora right yes yes because she's uh based in dubai all her products are based in dubai so yes this is the color so yes this is the color bombshell that we're going to try this is from dior it says here this is the dior lip maximizer in pink 001 it contains 2 ml or 0 0.06 fluid ounces so this tiny baby it looks like this it's light pink it's very lightweight it's very tiny it's very mini and it just looks like this the doe foot applicator it's transparent and it says here it's for it's a lip maximizer so yes at least after trying all the all those lipsticks i tried it on i believe it's kind of a clear nude thing kind of a sticky feeling but i can feel there's a sensation it's like there's a tingling sensation like those uh two face um two face those annoying um tingling those ones that th those ones i forgot what's the what's the name of that but i believe it's in two face that tingling sensation it's so so scary that i cannot take it that i gave it away this one it's a, a comfortable tingling sensation i don't know what they put in their product so my lip will uh, max um, it will you know will plump will maximize so but it's working it's thing because i can feel it i hope it's I hope it's uh is going to plump my lips as well. So, yes, that's about it. Oh, I already tried all the fifteen lipsticks. Actually, I like it, even though you can see it's all almost the same uh, color range. It has this bright reds. It's got muted pinks and browns but it has also a lip gloss and this uh rainforest from tarte and the lip maximizer so for me it's a very very good value because at least you can try them and check it out and if i like i'm going to buy the full size and out of 15 i got five full sizes so that is a very very good deal and i never uh what do you call this uh complete or finish up a uh, lipstick even though it's small because I have a lot of lipstick so I have uh, I try a uh, one lipstick per day so I make sure everything everything I try so yes that's about it this is all my lip swatches my my lips is on fire I can see it on the on my mirror but probably I'm wearing the dear addict lip maximizer so for me if you would like to buy this well it's not available here in singapore and uh, i believe it's already always sold out in us i i don't know if they're going to to produce more but it's only november right so it's really really good for this holiday packages because we have opportunity as consumers to 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 uh what do you call this we have opportunity as consumers to try each and everything and this is what the empty package looks like so that all those lipsticks i'm going to put it in my in my uh what they call this lipstick drawer then i would like to save this 
for for my letters or whatsoever I can put other stuff in it so yes that's about it wow this is my very first like swatching a lot of lipsticks so yes that's about it if you are uh, keen and to look for any reviews or videos and if you have any other Sephora favorites that you can recommend because this is my first and last of four favorites for this year. I'm not enticed to buy the rest. But if you like this kind of videos, uh, lip swatches, just like and subscribe and click the bell button beside the subscribe button so you will be notified whenever I upload new stuff from your mobile phones. And also, please join my Christmas beauty giveaway. It's open international. Deadline is on December 15th. And I got a lot of stuff there. I'm going to link it down below at the description bar. So, yes, that's about it. Finally, I'm done. I'm looking it in the mirror. I'm still okay. My lips are still okay. So, this is how it feels like to swatch 15 lipsticks. But good thing they're not liquid lipsticks. So, yes, that's about it. So, I see you next time on my next video. Bye-bye!